Hey, is the red light on? Yeah. <laughs> Paul's crying because we already recorded this uh, once. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got a little clearance unboxing from Tackle Warehouse. We're calling this Ballin' on a Budget. Ballin' on a Budget. So... <laughs> So you bought these things, right? I asked what was your them. process? Yeah, so here's what happened. So I was like watching a movie and like perusing Tackle Warehouse. Like, like you do. Like you do. Like it's done. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there was like some stuff that was like, oh, cool, 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 but not cool enough to like pull the trigger on or even pay shipping for it. Yep. And then I like was like, I'm looking down the bottom, I'm like, clearance. I have never clicked on this button. So I opened it up <laughs> and I saw two baits. There were two baits. It's going to be obvious yeah. which ones. But I saw two baits that I was like, well, they're half off. Yeah. Um, and the prices were already good. So I was like, okay. We, we're on to something. And look, what I fully recognize we get this all the time. Like when, when we talk about Nico Bates, it comes up a lot. People are like, oh, 15 they're super bucks. expensive. They're like, you know, eight or nine dollars for a pack, yeah. whatever. And I'm like, yeah, but they last forever. It's worth the money. And as much as I say that though, and they are, mm -hmm. um, I recognize that it's still a lot of money. And so I kind of went through and I was like, well, what could I get for, we'll just call it $50, you know, mid, like kind of your standard order size for 50 bucks? What, what can you get? And like, it's a lot. It's a, a lot nice, more than you would think. And it's a cool mix between yeah. like really good brands, brands I've never used before, yep. baits that I've never tried, and baits that are like old standbys. And so yep. this is like a cool example of like if you want to go ahead and fish on a budget, if you're willing to sacrifice on like maybe color or slightly sacrifice on weight. But not even by that but much. But not even really. But like, you know, if you're, you guys will see. If you're willing to do a little bit of that, <laughs> yeah. you can absolutely bargain shop and, and you can get and a crush sick it. order. And then catch a lot of fish on that Yo. stuff. All right, so we're gonna get to the clearance baits here in a second, but we've got two other things we wanna oh, show you as right. well. We got bonus unboxing today. So we got some new Waterland shades for 2022, and we've also got a, a nice podcast sponsor, Danco Fishing Tools. So just we're gonna get to that. It, it, it sounds, just buckle up for it. Your mind will be blown. Buckle up. All right, if you guys like the content and you're excited for these unboxings, subscribe, smash the like, ring the notification bell, come back Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern, when we go live, it'd be a blast. We're doing a couple special special giveaways coming up soon because we also made our own baits through Missile Baits and they look like, not that one, that's Debo's. <laughs> they look like freaking one of these things. They look like candy. Ah, <laughs> we just made a custom color through Missile Baits. That is the Burley's candy. So. Courtesy of Monster Bass. So thanks Monster Bass, thanks Missile Baits, and thank all of you. We wanted to thank all of you because we wouldn't have had that without you. So. Uh, depending on the posting of this video, but for the next couple of weeks on our Thursday night 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Eastern live show, we're actually going to be giving away yeah. a pack of those baits in addition to a $25 Monster Bass gift card good for the site on everything except for the subscription boxes. So please, please come check out the lives and win yourself potentially a pack of baits. All right, so before we do those clearance baits, let's talk about the new Waterlands. You can see I'm wearing a new hat. Yo. You, you have one, but that's for a video later on. The, dude, no, that's going to be a whole, a whole bunch of videos yeah. that I'm super excited to do. Yeah. And also, while we're on the, the the hat, like, can we just call out, like, with no preference whatsoever, this hat was selected for me, and it is the most perfect hat for me. It was Old school army green. Get well, out of here. Well selected. So here's the deal, you guys. New shades for 2022. We didn't want to make just a sunglasses video like we did last year, so we're just going to put them in this video. But you guys are not going to believe these stuff. Bro, so right off the bat, you start with the slunch. So this is, like, kind of a Wayfair, yep. maybe a little more, like, sporty Wayfair style of shade. Now, one thing I want to call out, the, the biggest surprise and the first thing I ever noticed with the Waterland shades is the weight. They are super, super, super light. Super light. This is hands down the lightest pair of shades that I have, um, but they're very durable. Have I've mm -hmm. had my other pair for oh, what, a, a year at this point. Um, beat the heck out of them and they're still kicking. I don't know what you just did, but it was probably I didn't, important. Toby's walking around. Toby! <laughs> <laughs> There's a dog right there and he's wonderful. 700 years old, has no idea we're here. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <sighs> This is this is my puppers. <laughs> this is my puppers. Say hi. Say hi right there. You say hi. Eighty nine years old, strong. I've had this dog since I got out of high school. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> but he was old when we got him. Yep. Oh, you're on my microphone. All right. So back to the slaunch. So I'm a big fan of the style. Now I will say 
This is probably like my second favorite on the water yeah. fishing style. I know it's Jeff's favorite. This yeah, is my that's second my go -to. favorite style. The Asher uh, frame is my favorite because it wraps around. So when it's super sunny, I like something that wraps around to get as much light away from my eyes as possible. Mm -hmm. These are the coolest looking ones. And they I don't the, think it's close. They're the best looking on the site, I There's, can tell you that. They look fantastic, yep. uh, but they actually are good for fishing. They're a little bit bigger than like a Wayfair. Yep. Um, and, and especially on a cloudy day, these are a great fishing sunglass. Yep. Uh, and the Call glass, out. the glass itself. You're, you're getting a quality polarized polycarbonate lens, and the dude, the the green sunglass gang thing is real. I can't go anywhere. Green else. lenses all day. It's a green mirror, it's so a, yeah. you can see the mirror, right? And this model, by the way, is the Sobro. So it's similar to what Paul's wearing, but it's got the little sweep on the arm back there. And check this out. There's freaking silicone on that, That's so it's smart. gonna hug your dome and stay on you for good. But yeah, the green lens, it's great for like normal sunny days, as long as you're not out in the ocean, that's where you want like a blue lens. But this is pretty much all conditions for us. We rock these and it's got a copper backing. So that's the key. It I, gives I'm you depth you of field, like depth of field. So like everything pops even more and you can really, uh, first of all, polarized cuts the glare on mm -hmm. the water, that's what yep. it does. And then you can actually kind of like see the depth and everything. I can see more of what's going on with that copper it's, pack. It's contrast you're getting. Mm -hmm. So with that copper, you're getting a high contrast. And so with the high contrast, not only get, like Jeff said, the glare reduction, but there are certain subtle colors in low light that pop really well with the copper back. So mm -hmm. for me, um, again, this is personal preference, but for me, um, if you're gonna get a lens color and you're only gonna yep. wear one pair of sunglasses, this is my number one, the green with a copper back because the copper gives you the contrast to get that really good reflection or a really good uh, color contrast. But you're also getting you know the polarized benefit, but you get the green mirror on a bright sunny day. Uh, the mirror is reflecting a lot of that light away from your eye and you're able to see really well on bright sunny days. If my second one I would say is a smoke. Smoke mm -hmm. is gonna work well in almost every single situation. The exception, and the reason I like the copper so much, is in low light situations, yeah. it's not gonna be uh, quite as advantageous for you. So that's that's my call on the green mirror. That's why pretty much every pair of shades you see me, that's what I'm gonna have. What's your call on these? Uh, I All I hear is Freebird on repeat um, in the back of my head right now. When we wear these, we have a new channel. It's called Gary's Fishing. <laughs> Welcome back to Gary's Fishing. Here, get your Gary glasses on. I can't hear you. Dude. Yeah, right now I'm talking to him. He all he hears is blah blah blah. You're boring. And now it would be funny if I only owned one pair of these, but I own two pairs. <laughs> so these from Waterland. These are called the Catch 'em Alls from Catch 'em All Fishing, another YouTube channel. You guys should definitely check out. Oh, but man. I just had to get them because they're it's too the most, rad not to get. They're too rad. Too they should rad. have called them the Shred, but I understand why they wouldn't catch the them. shredding <laughs> of the nars. So they do come in a rad case. Now this case actually lives in a console of yeah. a truck. Because they're not going to break your shades. They're not going to break, and they're not going to scratch, and i just leave that in there so it's a good place for me to set yeah. these. Last thing on Waterland, we're going to get to these baits here. Uh, if you want to pick up a pair, they are solid, they are durable, they are light. We really, really like them, and I don't know, I'm going to put this out into the universe right now. Maybe we could make some burly shades? Like super average. Zach, if you're watching this, so I'd love to have some burly shades. Anyways, we'll see in the future, but if you guys want to pick up a pair, use code burly15 and we'll get you 15% off. So B U R L Y 1 5. And then if you get some, post about them, tag us. That'd be awesome. We'd love to see you guys because apparently we sell a lot yeah, of these. I was so surprised to see how many people use the code, but then like never tagged us and told me about it. I assumed like no one was using it and we were kind of like, ah, bram, bram, beep, boop. And then we found out how yeah. many people are buying shades uh, using that code. So if you're using that code, tell me, stop hitting the camera. I love it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Toby is hitting my camera right He's now. He's like literally bearing a bone underneath <laughs> one of his tripod legs. He's such a tool. <laughs> but seriously, if you're using that code, tag us on Instagram, you know, wherever. Uh, we're all over social media. So tag mm. Jeff or I or both of us, whatever. We'll post them on our account. We want to know who's using them. Uh, and seriously, use the code. It's not just like, help Burley Fishing. Like you're saving a ton of money. Burley, save 15% on these shades. It's like absolutely worth it. So let's get into these clearance baits. Uh, should wanna, we start with the gigantic No, I want to start with this one. Oh, okay, this we'll start with this one. Oh, this is awesome. Ready, 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 ready? I'm ready. Boom, <laughs> it's a 350 horsepower <laughs> buzz bait. Type R. <laughs> it's a 350 horse Merc. When you add the Type R sticker, everybody knows it's 15 horsepower right off the bat. Immediately. <laughs> All right, so check this out. Uh, by the way, the now is a great time to let you guys know that we already filmed this video once. <laughs> so some of these packages are not going to look too healthy. It, it's it's not it's not the brand's fault. It's my fault. It's not Tackle Warehouse's yeah. fault. It is absolutely Jeff's fault. We recorded this whole video with my microphone off, so we're re-recording it now. 
It's like we practiced. <laughs> this is, it was called rehearsal. But yeah, so this is the Buzzsaw from Picasso Bates. Check this baby out. Look at that. Double prop, which you said counter rotate? They, yeah, they rotate. So one's, uh, one's going clockwise that way. and one's yeah. counterclockwise. That's so sick. So you got the double buzz. Heavy, heavy oh, wire. Yeah. Like this is not going to get folded up. If you guys fish buzz baits a lot, you know sometimes you got to bend that wire back after you catch a decent sized or bass. A or a couple. Not on this one. <laughs> yeah, not, not on this one. This is pretty darn heavy duty. You got that nice chartreuse. It's just a little a regular banded skirt on there, but it means it's also replaceable or removable. So you can like shake this up, do a whole bunch of different stuff. Put, with it. It, put a toad on there. Put a toad on there. Uh, Think about how big that profile is. <laughs> Add a toad to this, it's just gigantic. I think a white toad on this would be like the absolute craziest thing. The Z-Man toad? I want to do it so yeah. badly, so badly. The other thing I mean, is this is, three, gonna. this is three eighths of an ounce. So just three eighths of an ounce. ounce. See that um, jig head there? It's there heckin', go. it's perfect weight, honestly. Yeah. And I was surprised by the weight. And this is from Picasso Lures. So the cost it's on this legit. one. Legit. The cost on this one. Guess the cost in the comments below. Seven ninety seven. You were wrong. <laughs> 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 All right, there we go. So we got that. Just fun to hang out with. <laughs> it's super fun. Let's get some, uh, some oh, yeah. Strike King stuff. So sticking with top water, mm -hmm. next up we got is this KVD Poppin' Perch. It's the alliteration for me, my guy. So for me, I don't have one of these, and I know that Jeff is using them, so I really wanted to get a hold of one. So this is called, what is it called? Highland Bluegill? No, I think it's Northern Bluegill. Yep, Northern Bluegill. Northern Bluegill, AKA Rainbow Trout. Look at that, we got like blues and reds and this giant green skirt with the orange tinge on that tip. That's crazy. Five so bucks. yeah, for five bucks, this is a gnarly deal. Um, so it is a topwater bait, looking at that, you see the frog hooks, it's a hollow body. There you go. And you can pop it, you got that scooped mouth. And it's going to lay like that on the water. These are sweet because these actually splay out. It's a different type of strand. They'll splay out and like lay on the water and that's going to attract fish for sure. So they come strike at that. Oh, so good. Pro tip. Hey, if you want to catch more of them, you could throw that little stinger hook on here as well. Dude, how cool. We got those from Rocka Blades. Yeah, listener, Rocka One of our Blades. Listener. The, the, listener. This is YouTube. This is subscriber. YouTube subscriber. Dude, the cool guy. Rocka Subscribing Blades. listener, awesome person. Hooked us up with these. These, yeah. kind of, these showed up in a different unboxing, but you basically put the... Oh, no, I wanted that. You just threw that at my dog. No, he's... Asleep. <laughs> no yeah, forever now because you stabbed him. <laughs> the hooks from the frog goes go through both of these, and then you basically get a stinger hook on the back. Just heckin' cool way, especially if you Should get Should we that. just put one on? Can we do one right now? So the way that's gonna work is you're gonna get your frog, you're just gonna go ahead and boop, do that right there, deflate your frog, get your friend off. <laughs> <laughs> trust. We have never done this before. This is kinda it, it takes like a very large amount of trust to work together like this. I'm steady like a surgeon. There we go. Like a Inflate surgeon. your frog once it in there. And check it out. You got yourself a stinger hook on the back of your frog. Like what yeah. in the heck? Yeah. I want to move it down a little bit. Oh no, that's perfect. That's as far as you can go. Yeah. A little bit? No, you can definitely you go could further. Go, you could go below the right. skirt too. But check that out. Dude. What the heck, yo? That is money. That is money in the bank. That's uh, so good. That's a caught fish, my friend. That's caught fish. That's a guaranteed catch, my friend. Awesome. All right. Next up, we got a, a classic, but a twist on it. Oh yeah, so we talked a little bit about like, you know, there's a lot of different yeah. ways to approach the clearance uh, tab. The clearance right. tab, the yep. clearance basket on the site. Section. You can certainly go ahead and do like a straight restock, right? You can go get your hooks, you can go get your line, just find whatever you can find on sale. In this case, I went with one of my all time favorite spring baits. This is a lipless, the Strike King Red Eye Shad in I can, it's orange but it's not just orange an orange crop and now this color for a couple weeks out of the year is the only color that's going to get bit like a red or a burnt orange it's like the only mm -hmm. color that's going to get bit so i wanted it this one is super unique though it's not just a half ounce red eye shad it's actually got a tungsten rattle in there and and it's, so it's, it's called, called the two tap the two tap now i have not seen this before and to be honest with you i'm almost embarrassed to say i didn't know it existed and i really wanted to try this yeah. and put it up against you know a standard red eye shad I am really excited about it, but it's also a restock on a bait that I feel I have to have two of those because if mm -hmm. I lose one, I got to make sure that I have one. So I, yeah. I had to go get one. And that Love one it. was, hold on, I think that was five bucks too. Two tap, five ninety. How about this deal? Oh my God. What happened to this package? Oh you guys know. We already <laughs> mutilated it. 
All right, so next up we've got the head and it's called the slope nose. Yes. Slope nose. And this is part of their Forever Head In series mm -hmm. because why? Yeah, Read so, me some history. Dude, this is the best part. So Check this, this out, you guys. The first commercially available lure from Head In. Uh, the, I'm just reading off the package because it's actually really fantastic. The action of the yeah. lure was the most important aspect of, of the lure, according to James Hedden. Hedden, Hedden, I don't know. We're going with Hedden. But this bait is really cool. Look at so this he thing. built it to be a three way lure. It can be fished as a popper, a chugger, or as a stick bait. How insane is this? Look at it. It's got like that little cone so you don't lick your stitches. Right? <laughs> like A single what? ceratops. Is what? what? <laughs> a single ceratops. Not and a then not triceratops. Not a dual ceratops. A single ceratops. A single ceratops. <laughs> this thing is crazy. So here's your slope nose, right? Like yeah. super pointy nose situation there. Uh, it's got kind of that like aluminum body that most of these head and baits have. Which, I mean, is like super a, tinny to rattle. Me, it's like a quintessential topwater brand. They make some of the coolest topwater yeah. baits ever. And look at this. So these are on like a little hinge there. And you can unscrew these. One of them is actually already unscrewed for us. I don't know why we're going to fix that. And then you got just standard trebles. But I mean, we could upgrade those if we wanted to. Because you can just take that part off right there. And those trebles just kind of like swing back and forth. I love this, this thing. The color is totally, completely Dids. insane. It is called, hold on, I want to get this right. Natural perch. <laughs> that is, that's a natural. That, I, what, what do we, we say? Yeah. Hyper realistic. <laughs> we said it's like the saturation is turned up to 25. The, the <laughs> contrast and saturation cranked up plus yeah. clarity. Remove blur. One of my, one of my, <laughs> one of my favorite things on here though, check this out. So it says, and this is referencing back to the, the natural perch mm -hmm. color. Uh, it says, as explained in the 1902 catalog. Oh yeah. Uh, nothing is gained to constructing the bait to resemble any living things. So it's not necessarily that it's supposed to be something. Right. It's that it's creating an action or creating the action. You know, some sort of splash in the water or commotion. It's triggering the fish in some way. It's not necessarily yeah. supposed to be like an actual perch, but the color was heckin' cool. And so I had to get dude, that one. But dude, how hot, awesome is that? Hot take from 1902. The original nerds. That like, that set... The fishing industry ablaze. <laughs> when the, ablaze. the 1902 catalog was released. Lunker Hunt was like, game on. All right, so next up, we got two giant baits. Holy smokes. Yo, did you know that you can find glide baits and swim baits on Clearance? Seven inch. These what? were 50% off. So there's, they're from the same company. Yeah. They're from Dual. Uh, dual it? Hardcore? There it is. Hardcore. And Look at that. And one of them is the Ninja Swimmer in Bone. So that is this one. Yep. Let me get so that out first. Dives. This one dives a little bit. It's, it's a got really a cool lip band. on it. It's got a big lip. So, okay, these were half off. So I got uh, this one That's for insanity. less than $14. And I got the other one for less than, it was $16.50. And they come with a spare tail. And this tail is super cool. Look at that. It's that soft, like, plastic, I don't know. Silicone? Rubber? <laughs> like a soft rubber. Shut up. <laughs> did I just do it again? You just did it again? <laughs> what a nerd! <laughs> okay, sorry guys. Oh my lord. <laughs> anyway, so it's replaceable tail, soft rubber, whatever. <laughs> if, you will. It's a if, if you will. And we got just that single joint glide bait. So I think this is going to have great action. Uh, kudos to them. Also, I lost one already. So I'm going to put this through my finger. But they do have like little protectors on the hooks there when you're getting this out of the package. And oh, I love that. Look at that. Yep. That's a sweet treble. And then you got this lip. Look at that honking lip on this it takes thing. Takes it down to between two and Dude. four feet. Yeah, that's nuts. So, so this one's got more of a rolling uh, action to it versus yeah. like your standard glide bait. So it's gonna look like this? Heckin' cool. And then yeah. again, we'll stay a couple people below the surface. Now, again, this is one I don't know the brand, so I can't be like, this is the nicest swim bait ever. And it's like, should be $300 and it's 13. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not the deal. But I wanted to try it out. It's a seven inch glide bait. I didn't have anything like it. And I want, it's like two and an eighth ounces. I really, I really wanted to give it a shot. So I'm super excited about it. And this one. So this one, what is this one the, called? The I Ninja this Twitch? Is the, this is the Twitching Ninja in Metallic Ghost. Bam. Look at that. So the Ghost I get, I mean, semi-translucent, you guys can almost see through right there, but uh, that is nice. You got like the silvers, the browns, the almost orangish red, like burnt, Heckin burnt cool orange color. there. Burnt orange, that's what it is. Yeah. And you got like the yellowish brown tail made of soft rubber. <laughs> 
So then we got, oh, look at the eyes there, black and red on that. Dude, this thing is hot. And I love is, it. And this is more of a standard glide bait. So this yeah. is the Twitch and Ninja, right? You're going to twist this. Yeah, this, this is standard style. You're going to let the gliding, the I gliding kinda like, action go back and forth. I like the blockiness of it, actually. It's like <clears throat> unique, a little different looking. Again, a $16 seven inch swim bait. It's kind of hard seven to Seven inch, no. almost three ounces. Like, yeah. it's, she's a beast. It's pretty cool. Kind of excited to try it out. Spare tail. Yeah, and again, like, the the cost investment's a little bit lower so if you wanted mm -hmm. to try something out and you're like oh i wanted like you know i wanted sexy shad but all they had mm -hmm. was bone like go for the bone save yourself half off and just go try a bait and see if it's something you're interested in maybe paying full price for it later. all right so uh three-parter three-parter this is part three-parter three. <laughs> bonus unboxing number three here we go so uh we have been lucky enough to encounter awesome people via our podcast, which again, come to the next five lives. We're gonna be giving away our limited edition Missile Baits Baby D-Bombs, the Burley's Candy, all right? But the podcast has been an awesome platform just for meeting people. So we've encountered some of our, our Ned new- Rig nerds. New Ned Rig nerds community came out of there. Uh, some of our bestest friends came out of there. Some of the coolest humans we've ever met. Talked to a lot of different companies and now, we got our first ad read. Our yeah, first like say, official. How, how many times have I done read. an ad read? Uh, zero. Totally zero point zero times. So we got an opportunity presented to us thanks to Waypoint TV, who is like our what affiliate. Are they affiliate? Uh, they're they're actually like broad, they're like a broadcast backer for us. So they help us find partners to advertise on our mm -hmm. podcast, and we sort of like combine all of our all the different podcasts. Uh, subscribers to negotiate some of those deals. So you get a better deal, we get a better deal, and then everyone's super happy. Yeah. So they hooked us up with a company called Danco, and we said, Danco, never heard of her. Hooko. <laughs> and, then, and then we were like, can you send us some of this stuff so we can try it out and decide if we want to talk about it? Because you guys know us. Like, we got to try it before we talk about it with you guys, because we can't give you any opinion on it. I'm, I'm not, not gonna... putting my name on something that I haven't at least, like Tried. have a really good yeah. idea, like this is solid. Like you're not gonna see me put my name on it. Yeah, so they did. They sent us a whole box of stuff and we're gonna show you some of it right now. They sent us three different sizes of samurai sword. Look at that. The bat. Uh, so Danco, they make like tools and then uh, also knives. So mm -hmm. this is the three knife set, uh, the filet knife set. These are 50 bucks. You can get them on Amazon or pretty much anywhere else. So you get a seven inch knife, you get a, or you get a five, a seven, and a nine inch knife, and they all come in a roll up bag. What? The roll up bag is actually pretty slick. Like it sounds like a lame add in, but when you actually get a hold of it, it's Look super nice. So That's these sweet. are all actually molded in here, so you're not yeah. going to stab yourself or anybody else, and these are not falling through the bottom. Yeah. Heck That's cool. great. Canvas, you know. It's Should we take one it. out? Do we trust each other enough? As long as you whip the biggest one out, like it's a, uh, like I said, a samurai sword. Oh. Oh, there's the nine inch. <laughs> all right, check that out, guys. Oh, there we go. Now these are all made out of German stainless steel. Yeah. Uh, super high quality, super sharp. And then these are really, I Look think- Look at the they, handle, dude. Oh, the molded grip is legit. It's great. Super comfortable. Could easily- Lop my head off. Lop, pause that <laughs> Don't off. Don't drop it, because Toby's right underneath ah! <laughs> All right. Who gave us knives? No, Danco. <laughs> See, the problem with being adults is that I have adult money now. <laughs> Look at this. Dude, I love the handle. So the handle reminds me a lot of like Bubba Blades. So yes. if you guys have held the Bubba Blades, we were lucky enough to go to their booth at yeah. iCast yeah. and like we tried them out and they had their electric fillet knives and yeah. stuff, all that stuff. But uh, just their standard blade handle. And then I've had their pliers and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Super comfy. It's got like that silicone to it and uh, is a soft rubber. What'd you say? It's a soft rubber. <laughs> it is really grippy though. And, and again, it's grippy. I think this yeah, is at least this sweet. size for sure. Geared more towards yeah. a saltwater angler. It's a pretty stiff uh, stainless steel blade. These all do, everything that we're gonna show you has a lifetime warranty, mm -hmm. um, which is unbelievable. And the, honestly, again, the price tag is like pretty crazy. These I mean, also I'm come, clean in bluegill with that one. Well, check That's these out. So you get a couple of different sizes. You go all the way down to the five inch. All the way down. Yeah, all the <laughs> way down to the five Little inch. Little baby. So, dude, heckin' awesome. Fits really nice in hand, super steady, but not super duper flexible, right. right? Like this, you might have a little bit of trouble with some smaller bluegill for sure. But if you're preparing baits, if you're doing cut bait, if you're working mm -hmm. on a big old boat, if you're working down south, so if you're in Texas and you're getting striper and like all kinds of other things, this could be a great knife for you. Again, Again, the price is kind of bananas. Wait till you see the price tags on some of these other items. Like kind of mind blowing. But fifty bucks for three super high quality blades. I yeah. think it's a great deal. Lifetime warranty, and they come in. A, the colors are insane. Wait till you see yeah. some of the paint jobs. So you get a kind of ton of different color handles. But th there's more. There is yeah. more. 
All right, so what, you don't wanna spend 50 bucks on three knives, then spend $7 on this one. <laughs> this was actually like for a $7 knife. This is like stupid. It's awesome. I love it. Well, it's super, like what I think is like the idea is that these are designed really yeah. simply. So there's not a ton to them, but they're designed with no. really high quality components. So it has all the stuff you yep. really care about is high quality. And then the stuff that you don't, is just not built into it because you don't need it and you don't need to pay for it. Look at that. So you got serrated edge on this. You also have, even with the sheath on here, which snaps on by the way, and like isn't falling off, they leave this notch open so you could use that as like a line cutter, which I thought was super cool. And then you can also do this. <laughs> you can shoot that thing off. It went in your box. And point it right at your friend. I win. <laughs> but yeah, just like a nice simple little fillet or cut bait knife or utility knife in general. Exactly. I dig that. So this is completely unreal. So these are their shears. So this would be like, you know, fish cutting shears, but like, honestly, mm -hmm. I'd probably use these as game shears too. Uh, but just like some utility scissors. They got like a bottle opener in the back. There's like the little grippy part here in the middle for opening some difficult to open things. You got a serrated portion here at the bottom. You got a nice little leverage area right here. So if you really need to leverage under some stuff, you can use this hook to like hold stuff in place. Uh, again, serrated blades, stainless steel, super grippy handle. Um, Jeff, what, I mean, honestly, if you could guess the retail, I'm telling you, you're wrong. These are between five and seven dollars. <laughs> these, these are heavy. So duty. they're free. These are basically zero dollars and zero cents. The other thing is they do come apart very easily, just like so. That might seem completely asinine to you. You're like, what well, 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 come apart? That's so you can so clean weird. them. Well, if you've ever used game shears before, like to clean an animal or something like that, you absolutely know that getting gunk out of the inside of this area is completely impossible. Not if they come apart like that. So for, yeah, for like less than $10, like it almost seems like you're losing money if you don't buy them. This this was the most shocking I think, was, price for I think. a deal. I was like, this is yeah. complete insanity. All of these things should be $100. <laughs> um, all right, speaking of awesome things that they made, check these out. So we got some handy dandy pliers here that come in this soft rubber uh, <laughs> container, <Well>. receptacle. <laughs> Look at these things. So these are like oversized, first of all. Yeah. I love that. They got the nice like little grip notches there. It's like this aircraft grade aluminum with this super comfy grip. But look at the design on this thing. So this is like the red fish bone. So that's the crazy thing about Slick. this paint. I think they're dipping them, but you can get almost all of their utensils yeah. like this uh, in, a, there's a ton of different paint jobs, but this it's one's like wrapped. fucking cool. It also has tungsten yeah. carbide uh, braid mono uh, line cutters. And they are sharp. They're hacking awesome. I got a chance to use them. They're awesome. And then this is stainless steel right here. So that's awesome. That's not going to rust up on you. And they're replaceable. You've got like yes. the little bits in there. You know, a little Allen wrench thing you can get in there. For you both can the replace carbide those. cutters and for the And teeth. for that. Yep. Yep. So and dude, heavy duty. And these are like, I think $40 retail, something like that. 40, 35, 40, 35, 40 bucks, 40 something like bucks. that. Uh, and, then, and again, available. You got like your a retainer ton, there. Available in that's a ton cool. of different colors. Kind of bonkers. <laughs> Super happy to have them. Yeah. Um, offer to sponsor our podcast. And uh, I, I, again, introduction to the brand so far. I was like, I like things that are high value. That's kind of a big deal to me um, yeah. as I'm over here shopping the clearance section. <laughs> like high value, top dollar things only. <laughs> but seriously, high value is important. I think yep. I don't think that these are cheap. I think that they're high value. They're making mm -hmm. things with high quality components and getting them to a price that I think is beyond reasonable. So pretty yeah. awesome. And they gave us a discount code. So if you do want some, you can use the code BURLY10, B-U-R-L-Y-1-0. And if you do pick some up, just post about it. Tag us in it. But Stuff yo, like that really helps out a I lot. I got a Danco lightsaber. Come check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I got my 12-inch blade to fillet my 3-inch bluegill. All right. So that's all we got for you guys today. I know it was a lot of unboxings. A lot more than we thought. We probably could have made that multiple <laughs> videos. Whatever. You get it all at once. You're that's, welcome. That's how we do it. You're welcome. Um, if you guys like the content, be sure to subscribe, smash the like, ring that notification bell. And of course, come back Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. That's when we're going to be doing the giveaway. You got the limited edition Burley's Candy, Missile Baits, Baby D-Bombs going out, as well as a $25 gift card to MonsterBass.com. All right, what do they do? What do they do? Oh, wait, did I already say subscribe? Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do they do then? We already do the things that we told you. Like, subscribe, all of that. Do and the things. Cheers, mates. <laughs> Make sure you use the codes, my guy. <laughs> all I got. Bye. Bye.